The Macaw Royal Clock Tower, which features the world's largest clock and a gold-plated crescent. When the construction of this tower was underway, the Saudi king requested that a facade be placed at the top of the tower that would resemble a massive diamond from afar. Above this diamond would be the world's largest crescent, plated with 24 karat gold. Only one company in the world was capable of executing this project, the famous German company Riva GmbH. However, there was a significant issue beyond constructing the diamond-like facade or plating the crescent with gold. The engineers and the owner of Riva were non-Muslims, and as is well known, only Muslims are allowed to enter Mecca. Riva had accepted the project, but the strict law of the Saudi government allowed only Muslims to work physically on the site. What solution was ultimately found for this issue? How was the world's largest clock and a crescent weighing as much as two passenger buses transported to a height of 600 meters in a place where millions of people are present at all times? This might have been the first and last building in history where the architect never got to see the building up close. Welcome once again to All Versus Videos. The Maka Royal Clock Tower is one of the tallest buildings in the world. Reaching a height of 601 meters, this tower is nothing short of an engineering marvel. It is recognized by the world's largest clock, measuring 43 meters on each side. In terms of area, just one side of the clock covers 16,000 square feet, equivalent to 35 plots of 500 square yards each. Built at a cost of $16 billion, the Maka Royal Clock Tower remains the most expensive skyscraper ever constructed. It is the only building in the world where the highest inhabited floor is inside the crescent. Although today it is the fourth tallest building in the world, at the time of its construction, it was planned to be the tallest. However, when its 600-meter height plan was leaked, Dubai increased the height of Burj Khalifa to maintain its record. This tower is one of the most complex buildings, located only 300 meters from the world's largest mosque, Al-Haram. But did you know that before 2002, this location was home to the Ayyad Fortress? This fort was built in 1780 during the Ottoman Empire to protect the Kaaba. Maka is a sacred city in Saudi Arabia, where millions of Muslims from around the world come for Hajj. However, even outside the Hajj season, Masjid Al-Haram is crowded 24-7. Religious tourism is the second largest source of revenue for Saudi Arabia, contributing $12 billion annually to the national treasury. This is why Makkah has the highest number of hotel rooms in the world, around 250,000. Dubai ranks second with 154,000 rooms, followed by Las Vegas with 151,000 rooms. Due to increasing demand and to ease difficulties for pilgrims, King Abdulaziz demolished the Ajad Fortress to build a complex. Initially, the plan was to meet the demand for rooms, but later it was decided that one of the towers should be more than just a hotel. The idea was floated to make it so tall that it would serve as a minaret for the mosque. However, there was a problem. The original height was planned to be 450 meters, and the foundation was built accordingly. When the structure reached 450 meters, the decision was made to extend it to 600 meters. Adding more load to the same foundation would be highly risky. While experts were addressing this issue, King Abdulaziz made another request. He wanted the tower to have not just a minaret, but also the world's largest clock with a massive diamond on top and a gold-plated crescent. To accommodate these demands, engineers had to revisit the foundation calculations. The conclusion was that the additional 150 meter building and operating the world's largest clock at a height of 450 meters was no easy feat. Considerations included the size of the hands, how to protect them from strong winds, and how the clock would function at such an altitude. The biggest challenge was the clock hands. They needed to be designed to withstand high winds without being displaced. The large hand is 23 meters long, while the small hand is 17 meters. If the large hand were placed vertically, it would be as tall as a five-story building. At 600 meters, winds can exceed 200 kilometers per hour, which could easily dislodge the hands. Additionally, the tower has four separate clock faces, increasing the risk. Initially, a railing-like structure was considered to stabilize the hands, but it would have required too many moving parts, increasing maintenance issues. Ultimately, the decision was made to use special carbon fiber material for the hands as carbon fiber is lightweight yet stronger than steel. If you liked the video, 
Hit like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more interesting videos.